Hello, and welcome to today's edition of the Austin Kemp Divorce Channel. Today we're going to discuss my divorce. Should I leave the family home? Moving out of the family home before your divorce is finalized is something which needs serious consideration. In this article, we take a look at some of the things you need to think about before leaving, as well as the issues you may encounter. Consider what is right for you and your family. Leaving the family home is, for many, one of the biggest and most significant steps throughout the whole divorce process. Whether it's due to the fact that tensions are running high with you and your spouse, or you don't want your arguments to impact your children, it's important that you really think about whether moving out of your home is the right thing to do, as moving back in is often, emotionally at least, not an option. Sometimes, it's necessary for couples to live apart in order to get that breathing space which could give the negotiations surrounding the financial settlement the best chance of success. Other times, one party moving out serves to heighten tensions further. Above all, deciding whether the time is right to leave is a very personal decision and it's important to consider what is best for you and your family. Can you afford to move out? Affordability of living in separate accommodation to your spouse will be one of the most important issues that you will have to consider. Running two households can be expensive, as you have double the utility bills, double the council tax, and potentially both mortgage and rent payments. Unfortunately, it is not unusual for decisions of this nature to come down to money rather than what would make both parties happier. Can my spouse sell the house when I'm gone? If your house is in joint names, your spouse can't sell the house without your permission. If your house is not in joint names, but you are occupying the house, the legal owner of the house will not be able to sell it free from your claims. Obviously, if you are no longer residing in it, it could be that you are no longer protected by this rule. As such, it's important to make sure you have legal protection by registering your rights. You could lose money on the sale value of your home. Selling the family home is sometimes the only option if both parties are to get a fair financial settlement upon divorce. If you move out of the family home, you will not be there to check that the house is being kept in good condition and is tidied before viewings so that potential buyers who are viewing your house see it looking its best. Are you planning on living with a new partner? If you want to move in with your new other half, this could impact needs-based calculations as part of your financial settlement. Deciding when or if to leave the family home can be one of the most difficult decisions you will have to make during the divorce process. Speaking to an experienced divorce solicitor can help you to ensure that you are making your best decision with all the facts at hand. 